I swear I tried craving hot Cheetos. Who loves hot Cheetos? I do. Who loves Karen? I do. So I had to recreate her look. She posted this on Instagram and she also did a video. So as soon as I picked up my NYX palette, I knew I had to recreate her look. Um, it's not as bomb as hers. Hers is fire. Hers is everything. Um, but mine is not half bad. So uh, if you guys want to see what I did to get this a look, please continue to watch. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out as well as that little notification bell. That way you guys are up to date with my videos. All right, I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so one, I love hot Cheetos, my favorite snack. And two, I love garden. I love Sarai. So I will be recreating her hot fire, flaming hot Cheeto look that she um, uploaded a couple of weeks back. She also has it on her Instagram. And um, I did post it on my Instagram. I did receive a lot of positive feedback on it. And I said, well, why not recreate it over on my YouTube channel? I did pick up the NYX um, Fire Palette. This is the In Your Element Fire Palette. Let me tell you, this is the first time I ever, I think I've ever used a red or very bright orange on my eyes. And I got a lot of positive feedback. So I said, I'm going to recreate it on my channel. And... Let me show you guys the palette. Um, it's this one right here. A very, very beautiful fire tones. There's orange, a very bright orange, a red, burgundy, a gold. This is somewhat of like um of a, like a bronzy gold. And this one right here is a very beautiful, like a emerald type of green holographic. Let me. I don't know if you can see. There's like um some type of purple green bluish tint to it very beautiful but anyway i'm not using that shade today i'm going to be doing the hot fire look and if you guys want to see how i did it how i recreated it just keep watching okay so i'm going to start off by using some milani eyeshadow primer all over the eyelid up to the brow bone and um i'm just going to place that in there all the way up to the brow bone all over the lid For the crease, I'm going to be using this yellow shade right here with my BH Cosmetics 101 brush. It's a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to place that all over the crease and transition in no particular light area. Just kind of diffusing it all over the crease and transition. Okay, so once you have that yellow shade, you're going to go into the orange shade right here. You don't want to skip out on the yellow shade because she says that that's what gives it that nice transition, kind of like a fiery sunset. So you want to make sure you get that yellow. And then I'm going to go into this orange right here with a smaller brush. And I'm going to place that one on the crease. Okay, so with that orange shade, you just go all over your crease. Um, you just make sure you blend. So you don't go above the crease, and it's okay if it gets on the lid. You're gonna, you're still gonna um, add some red to it. So I know it looks a little bit crazy, but it'll all come together at the end. Okay, so then you're gonna go in back to the yellow with your big fluffy brush, and you are going to uh, blend the two together. Blend the yellow with the orange. Then after that, you're going to go back into your orange and add some more. It's all about going back and forth with the two. So they can blend together nicely and, um, it looks like a fire sunset or hot Cheeto, either way. 
but um, you just gotta make sure you diffuse it, the outer corner, and once you've got that orange down, then you're gonna go back into your yellow and add a little bit more. All right, so next we're gonna go into uh, the red, which is this one right here, that red right there. And for that, I'm gonna be getting my white jumbo pencil from NYX. And I'm just gonna be applying just a little bit right on the lid part in the center of the lid, just to make that red um, pop. I'm gonna be going in with a very small um, flat shader brush and I'm gonna apply that red in patting motions. You're gonna grab a um, another blending brush or another fluffy brush and you're gonna grab a little bit more of the red and go ahead and blend it in with the orange. So now that we have our colors down, we are somewhat looking like a hot Cheeto. And we're gonna go in with a black eyeliner. I'm using this e.l.f. liner in jet black. I really like this one because of the wand. It's like very, um, very, I guess flimsy you can say. And it makes it very easy to make a little tail at the end of the wing. So um, I'm gonna go with my wing. Okay, so she does do a very dramatic wing, very um, thick, so that is my wing, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up underneath it with the wipe. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup, put my face on, and so we can continue with the bottom lash line. Okay, so now that I have my foundation and all that other good stuff, we're gonna continue with the under eye. And what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna grab a um, small little brush like this. Any kind of brush will do that you guys use for your under eye. And this is a BH Cosmetics 105. And I'm gonna go back into that yellow. And I'm gonna place that underneath the eyes on the waterline. Basically, I wanna do the same thing I did at the top. After you place the yellow, you're gonna go with orange right on top of that yellow. And blend it in together. Now with like a very little flat brush, um, you go into that red and you're going to stamp it. Almost like if it was like your um, eyeliner, you're gonna stamp that red. Now for your waterline, you can go with any color you want in the waterline, but for this look, um, I prefer to go in with black and I'm gonna be using the um, NYX Retractable Eyeliner. I just purchased this and I am completely in love with this eyeliner. It's very, um, very creamy and very, very pigmented. Let me just show you guys. Very, very black. So um, I'm gonna place that in my waterline. I 
I didn't have the NYX glitter eyeliner, but I do have this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, and I'm going to be using the glitter side. And it does come with the little um, wand, so I'm going to go ahead and use that and place it on top of the black liner. Okay, so look how beautiful that glitter looks. It looks really, really pretty. I really like that touch to it. Now, um, of course, we are going to use a Fuego as my highlight because this um, look is a screaming fire, Fuego. So I'm gonna grab my Real Techniques. Uh, this is the setting brush and just place some all over my high cheek bones, a little bit on the cheek there, and a little bit on the brow bone, a little bit on the top of the brow. Okay, so I'm not going to be popping on any falsies. I'm just going to um, apply mascara and that's it. I feel like if I were to um, apply falsies, it will take away from the look. And also on my Instagram picture, I didn't apply falsies, just some good old mascara. I'm going to curl them and I'm going to be using my Lash Princess by Essence. This is the best drugstore mascara ever. I mean, ever. Now for the lips, in her picture, she has somewhat like of a nude, uh, glossy, mauve tone lip. I didn't have that exact color that she was wearing so I made my own I improvised and um, I used as a lip liner I used the Kat Von D everlasting lip liner in Lolita so I used this then um, I applied some of this Gerard Cosmetics uh, lipstick it's a very pale nude and this one is in the shade kimchi doll and for the top gloss, I used this one by Victoria's Secret, and it's just a lip shine. It doesn't have a shade or anything, but it's like very pinky, nudie kind of, but I really, really love Victoria's Secrets. Their lip stains, their lip creams, and their lip glosses. They are so comfortable. They smell delicious. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the combination I used for the lips. guys enjoyed this recreation from I Love Sarai. I sure did. I had so much fun trying to recreate her look and I'm actually pretty happy with myself. Happy with the look. It turned out pretty nice. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, make sure to leave them down below. I want to hear your thoughts and what you guys think. Did I nail it or did I not? So uh, please don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe before you guys leave. I love you and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.